think everybody you watching, I think everybody in, in a good mood. I mean, especially myself. Um, we dropped two games. Um, we gave them two games, so they're pretty confident. What's the process like for you when you kind of are going through a little, little shooting slump? And, and what, who do you who do you get with? And what, do you, what do you do to fulfill or anything? Like I don't that? change nothing, man. Um, I put the work in, so I don't really worry about missing or making shots. At the end of the day, man, it's gonna go in or it's gonna go out. I don't really trip, man. I put the work in this summer and throughout the season, so I don't really trip when I'm missing. Have you identified some of the things you could do a little differently coming into game three that you weren't doing the first two? Um, I mean, last game I, I did everything that I wanted to do. I took, I didn't take as many mid ranges, but I, um, I got to the rim. I just missed a couple lays, a couple easy layups. Um, so just focusing on finishing those and um, you know finishing over their bigs. People are wondering. Six yeah. Denver series. Do you feel okay? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm ready to go. I'm good. <laughs> when you say you gave them the, those games, how much do you think you were like those mistakes that cost the game and the, which was Dallas uh, credit? Um, they got closers, man, with Luca and Kyrie. So you can't you can't make mistakes down the stretch and keep it a close game. Um, because they got two guys they can throw the ball to and just say go get a bucket. Um, but we made a lot of mistakes. I turned it over last game. Um. We had a couple turnovers late in the game last game, and in the first game, we just gave it away. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. What are you learning about the recovery process this time of year, the one day in between, and how did you spend the day yesterday to get your body ready and, and rev up? Uh, um, I'm, I'm just learning it's tough. Uh, the playoffs is tough. Um, but I didn't do nothing special yesterday. Got treatment. Other than that, just played the game for real. Yeah, I don't think it's experience. I think we just, we dropped two, we gave them two games. Um, at the end of the game, both games we up like five with a minute left and we just get a game away, turn it over, missing layups, just little things like that. How would you describe the feeling that was uh, in you when you lost that game two and for now for game three? Um, I definitely was sick, man, because I think we was up like five or like a minute left or a minute 15 left, so I definitely was sick. Um, but it didn't do nothing but add fuel to the fire for game three. Um, I think all my teammates ready to go, man. It's fun. You seem like, you seem like a guy throughout the playoffs and you've sort of been undaunted by other people's experience or, you know, Kevin Durant in the first round or obviously Denver is defending champs. What, what does that mentality come from? Sort of? I just don't care, yeah. I don't let nothing bother me. I don't get rattled. I just stay in the moment and have fun. That's the main thing, just have fun, man. You know, um, I've probably been getting a little away from having fun out there. Just let my misses and and stuff like get in my head, you know what I mean? But I just got to get back to having fun, just playing with joy, with a smile on my face. Have you always been like that? Yeah, for, yeah, for sure. You said after game two that you always want to make the right play, but maybe the right play will be more shots for yourself. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what will it look like? like how oh, no, nah, y'all going to see tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of shots. Um, I'm gonna be super aggressive. I mean, I haven't took more than 16 shots in each game, so I'm gonna be ultra aggressive coming out for sure. You mentioned that turnover late, you know, live and switched on it. When you went back and you looked at that, you know, what did you, what did you see? I should have just shot the first shot, yeah. That just that simple, yeah, for sure. That's all. But you, you see a rookie big on you. I mean, you probably think you've got, you know, you've got some food in front of you. I mean, it's not even, I don't care who in front of me. I don't even see the person in front of me. I'm just trying to get to my spot and shoot. I don't really care about who in front of me. Do you think it could be even a benefit now that you guys are on the road because no one up here is at home or distracted from something because you're all together? Um, I mean, I think, I think we play better on the road anyway. I mean, every time we, besides the Phoenix series, we haven't played well at home. So, I mean, I think we're looking forward to this game because we play better on the road with our back against the wall. Can you be in attack mode against this defense? Can I be in attack mode? Can, can you yeah. Get to the hell can hell you, yeah. Can hell you do yourself? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I've been getting away from it, but I'll definitely be back to it tonight. Why do you feel like you play better on the road than at home so far in this postseason? Like she said, less distractions, less people around. I mean, you in a hotel, you in those four corners um, by yourself, really. I just play the game, so I ain't got nobody bothering me. I think I think we um I think we're in a pretty good mood. Um, everybody's smiling, joking, cause we we know, man, we know we we're a good team. Like we know it's not over. <laughs> like I'm not worried. I don't think my teammates or coaches. I don't think anybody worried. We just know we got to come ready to play tonight. How much, are you 
you a tape guy? Do, do you watch a lot of that? Like he was asking you about that turnover. You watch? You just break any of that down? Or? Uh. I mean, not really. I watch it a little bit, but I don't really dwell on the past or like like that. I just go with the flow and just go into the next game.